Hi everybody, this is Cop Kitty and um, actually answering one of my own uh, videos it's like a sequel <laughs> because I uh, put out a video that um, you know asking you to ask me questions and many questions are already up so I decided to make a video right now about it because I don't want to take my time and answer them like in a month so let's go. Uh, Brittany SS suggested that I answered uh, Peron 75 questions, which I am going to do in just a little bit. I'm just going to go through the questions um, that I've received. Okay. Boho Girl 1. It's always one. La, la, la. You look so happy and more willing to open up. So I ask, is there a man in your life? Not right now, but um, I don't know. Maybe this weekend I'll, I'll meet somebody interesting because I'm going out. You know, I don't know. Um, uh, what else? Okay. Holy Bats asks, what is one of your favorite books? And are birthdays celebrated differently in Brazil than they are in America? Now the birthday question is better. Um, easier, actually. Uh, the birthdays are celebrated here in Brazil pretty much the same way. For what I've seen in movies and what I've experienced a birthday in uh, the U.S. We also sing happy birthday to you only in Portuguese. And I can re even translate the lyrics for you because the lyrics vary a little. We don't just don't say happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear somebody, happy birthday to you. We, we say other stuff. Um, and yeah, we have cake, we have little candy. And from your, my international candy video, you can see that um, there's Brigadeiro in the birthday party so that's a little bit different from the US but still it's just a party you invite your friends and your colleagues and you celebrate your birthday and you blow a candle uh, what is one of my favorite books one of my favorite books to read is from a guy called Amir Klink he's a sa uh, sailor maybe yeah he, he, he navigates through the sea and uh, one of his, my favorite books which are from him is a hundred days between sea and sky and there was a time that he took a rowboat and row from Africa to Brazil coasts so that's pretty amazing and I like mostly art books you can see you can see on my I have two videos about art and I show my favorite books of art ever including one from Umberto Eco, which is wonderful, which is the history of beauty. Um, let's see here. Which, mm. uh, Rose Dawson 5555 asks, What made you decide to learn to speak English and when did you start? Actually, we, here in Brazil, learning English is part of the high school... Uh, school resume really I don't know now that um, with the whole um, trades of commerce here in Latin America if we always we also learn uh, Spanish as a part of the the you know the learning process uh, we learn it among history and geography and math we also learn English and maybe Spanish because when I was in high school I began to learn Spanish so maybe they um, spread this out throughout uh, the whole school because I know just a little bit of Spanish because I have such little time to learn and uh, what made you decide to learn? And actually, my grandmother was an English teacher for 50 years, maybe. And she always gave me books in English. She always uh, gave me uh, 
movies in English so I can read the subtitles. So that was pretty good. Um, which country? Oh, Nihilanth Ni, Ni 1882 asks my question. Which countries or more specifically cities around the world have you traveled to? I have traveled to London. I've been there when I was 16. That's too long ago. I want to go back because it's a wonderful city. I've been to Florida, uh, mostly Orlando and the Key area, the Keys, Florida Keys area. I've been to New York. And that's pretty much it. Um, I've been many places around Brazil, but not too many really. I've been to Rio, I've been to Bahia, but I haven't traveled much. And I decided that I'm going to travel a lot more. So I want to go to Europe next year. I want to know Italy and Germany, and I want to go back to London and area because I really I really really love going to London such a wonderful city uh, have you been involved in any physical fights um, I uh, I have actually in when I was in school primary school um, there was a mean girl picking on me and instead of just shriveling down I was so pissed at her she, she was doing such cruel remarks about me I wish and she was like skinny and, and and small and I've always been like this I've always been you know fatty strong person so <laughs> I took her by her t-shirt and lift lifted her and said, what have you been saying about me? You don't even know me. Who are you to say anything about me? And she said, oh, no, no, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. And from they, that day on, they, she, didn't, <laughs> she didn't bother me anymore. So let's go to the um, Peron questions. <laughs> 